Hi friends, it's Monica and welcome to my reaction of Shadow and Bone Season 2, Episode 8, the finale. Continuing right into my reaction, if you haven't seen the previous episodes of my reactions, they will be linked down below in the description box and let's just get to it. We finally reached the finale episode! So excited! So it seems like the fold is still up and we all know how the last episode ended. Make them reach over the maps. I love you. As much as I don't like Malina, I really, I really do like the acting here. And she's finally destroying the fold at great cost to herself. And I absolutely love the sequence of Anesh being badass with a sword. Malinite changed the world. We tore down your shadow fold. You have my sympathies for what comes next. The world doesn't need a saint to protect it, Alina. It needs a monster. I find it very interesting what the Darkling is mentioning here and warning Alina about what if you do end up becoming me and that he was also offering to be like the, the darkness to her light. <laughs> Sounds so corny. Find peace for a moment. I swear I did. <gasps> no, they will come for you. Let them come. And finally, we can say that the Darkling and Darklina is dead. He made sure there is nothing left of me. This guy's a little saint. I think there's like a tone of regret here from the Darkling, which is very interesting. And I also really like how we, sh we saw like a flashback to Darklina and how the Darkling was fighting so hard for what he thought would be peace in the form of Alina, but you know, he's dead now. <laughs> Maybe. Please. So Alina is using what the Darkling used to bring Mal back. So maybe the Darkling made a prediction? <laughs> Saints, you have me worried! Well, girl, you did stab him directly in the heart and he died. <laughs> I love how Jesper just jumps in and breaks the awkward tenseness that is always there between Kaz and Inej. I do like the talk about now they finally have the choice of choosing and of freedom. Stay. Stay in Katadam. Finally, he's making a move. And what would be the point? Inej, believe. Inej, believe. I want... I want... You. I will have you without your armor, Gasbrecher. I will not have you at all. She said the line, she said the line. But again, it's still not there, but I hope we could, you know, see more of them. Safe travels. Stay on. So now we're seeing a hopeful future for Mal that is a little bit different than in the books. Shall we? And Nej is joining them. How's it looking? Almost there. Okay, this is a twist <laughs> that I did not see coming for Inej, but I guess it works for her character. In the books, Inej is definitely not on a ship with Mal going on privateer adventures and stopping slaver ships, but I guess it could work. <laughs> and Matthias this entire season has been in jail and his storyline has been Kind of boring to say the least, but it's not his fault. I'll buy out any indenture who'd rather work as a serving girl in the Crow Club. Kaz is still running the Crow Club and he's helping out other indentured servants at the menagerie. So basically trying to save save more people like he did with the Nash. Wow. <laughs> Abs. <laughs> are we gonna get are we I don't want to say because it's a spoiler. Yes, we're gonna get this. And it's a spoiler for other books, but this does happen in the books. I'm honored to have you by my side. You're not gonna have them clink glasses and make us kiss for them, are you? No. This is a huge twist and a huge departure from the books because Alina doesn't... She doesn't get married or like she isn't with Nikolai in the books. 
I'm just gonna say like Mal and Alina they go off and they live a quiet life together so this is a huge departure from the books so um the three of us can do a lot of good together a little triumvirate I do like seeing Alina with her friends Jenya and Zoya they were being a little trio together I do like to see that <laughs> Nikolai all done up being crowned king it's a drug called Jirda Parem. Jirda Parem. Six of Crows. <laughs> and well, Alina just used the the cut. You can see on her hands. And she's a she has dark powers now. Why, why is she looking at us like that? <laughs> and okay, wow. That is the end of season two of Shadow and Bl I have some thoughts. First off, this ending, it's a departure from the books. We see Alina taking a dark turn. I'm not even sure if that there is a season three yet, confirmed by Netflix, but I hope there is, of course. But this is interesting. I'm really curious to see a dark Alina and her go to the evil side for a little bit. That's a nice twist if they do continue with that. And we also saw Kaz hinting at Jirda Parim, which is a storyline in Crooked Kingdom. So maybe that will be this the Crow storyline. But I also heard that there is a Six of Crows spin-off series that is a possibility, so I don't know what's going on. But for the changes that they did make in the show, I'm quite happy about it. Some of it was a little bit funny. <laughs> Like how the Six of Crows characters just showed up in the final battle sequence and saved Nikolai. Um, that was a little bit funny to me. I did like that storyline with the crows going to Shuhan, finding the mythical sword, and also encountering that saint. It was really nice and provided some development to some of the Six of Crow characters. Of course, I did really like how they expanded upon like the Darkling and his death. Like the entire interactions with the, the Darkling and Alina throughout the entire season was very intense and very up and down. There was a lot of emotions there, but I do really like how they did his death scene. Mal <laughs> becoming Stormhund, Stormhund, and becoming a privateer with Inej and Ploya <laughs> and Tamar. Kind of random, but good for him. He's living his life as a temporary bachelor. Mal and Alina are definitely not together at this moment. We also did see Nikolai have like that shadow monster fragment in him. Oh yeah, Nikolai as a character this season was one of my favorite characters. He really did come off as that charming roguish character that you love. He does have added layers to himself. We also see how Nikolai was more respectful of Mal and Alina's relationship and I don't think we got that in the books. I also like seeing the introduction of Tolia and Tamar. The twins, they're really fun with the action sequences that we saw from them in the crow's front. I love seeing Kaz and Inej having more development in their relationship. And I did like seeing Kaz's backstory. And of course, with Jesper and Wylan, they were so cute throughout the season. And then Nina and Matthias, they're of course separate because Matthias was in jail. Other than like just focusing on the romances, we did get to see more in depth with all of our characters. We see more layers to them, different sides to them. For example, like Lena, we did see how she reacted to certain things and we did see how she is in a position of power, but <laughs> the stress of that really came through the season. I think that's all I wanted to say about this season. And of course, I did want to say thank you so much for watching and liking and commenting on all of these videos and i do hope that you enjoyed my reaction for the finale and for entire of season two and with all that being said i do want to ask if you do want to give me a huge thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to ring the bell to not miss any future uploads and i am typically uploading bookish type content so i'm not always reacting to shows but i do hope to maybe incorporate my reaction to book to tv or book to movie adaptations more in the future 
but for now I am only doing book related content so if that interests you stay tuned and I'll see you all in my next video bye